Rakim, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't smile too much. I ain't no joke. I just. <laughs> it's like everything we do has a positive image. It's like our record. I know you got soul. It's like a line that says, "If you didn't have soul, you wouldn't be in here." Like on Soul Train. If we didn't have soul, we wouldn't be in here. For many fans of hip hop's golden era, 1987 was a transformative year for the genre. Some of the most classic albums in rap were released this year, including works by Public Enemy, BDP, and Ice-T. But for two young men from New York, their debut album, Paid in Full, would be seen as a turning point in how rappers approach their whole style. One of their first televised performances would be on Soul Train. Until the late 80s, most rappers had a specific one, two, three, four rhyming pattern. The words would land on top of their beat. But with the newness of the genre, hip hop was constantly evolving and rappers were beginning to expand their storytelling. Artists like Chuck D were pro-black and wanted to educate their listeners, while rappers like Ice-T would depict the world of street life and hustlers. Eric B and Rakim showcased both worlds in a unique way. Death with the record, death with the record, thinking of a master plan. Cause ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand. So I dig into my pocket, all my money spent. So I just deep up, still coming up with lint. Eric B, a DJ from Queens with ties to the music industry, was looking for rappers to record an album. A promoter from Long Island introduced Eric to Rakim. Rakim was a young MC that was popular throughout Long Island for his complex rhyme style and his knack for street fashion. He was also a practicing five percenter and would use some of his religious knowledge in his raps. That mixed with his street edge and monotone deep voice made for a lethal combo the rap world was primed for. Eric B. and Rakim's Paid in Full album was released in 1987. In the same year, the duo appeared on Soul Train, performing I Know You Got Soul, wearing rope chains and truck jewelry, holding stacks of money in their hands and photos. Although Eric B. and Rakim weren't the first rappers on the Soul Train stage, their message was fitting. Regularly dripped in Dapper Dan clothing and looks worn by street hustlers and barely smiling, their music combined jazz with knowledge of self and pro-black messages. Their precise record scratches and top-tier lyricism left most fans in awe and sent rappers back to their rhyme books. Corners trifling, shorties here. I get cocked in, living 40s to beer. Here's a sip with a crew that's deceased. If I get revenge, then they rest in peace. Eric B's production pushed hip hop's limits musically, and Rakim's superior delivery let you know he was serious, with barely any profane language in his lyrics. Up to this point, the Soul Train stage was reserved for R&B and soul artists. As one of the most definitive groups of the genre, Eric B and Rakim made history with their appearance, paving the way for hip hop artists who follow them on the hippest trip in America. 